probably really like to, to have this element of surprise. I'm not sure if everyone loves that, but what I like is you do the prepping, you do the organizing, but at some point you do the act. It's a little bit similar with, the, with doing a race. You set your bike up, you do the planning, you looked at the route, you did everything you could. After a few hours into a race, you just have to rely on yourself. Like, you've done everything you could, and now you're just riding your bike, and there might be surprises on the way. You overcome them or you don't. There's no phone calls, there's no emails, there's no clutter of life. It's good. Shitty things happen on the way though. <laughs> Fuck up a piece, broken derailleur, but still. It's horrible, let's do it again. And then the next time it's easier. I'm Quinda, I'm an artist, I'm an athlete. I ride ultra distance races. I'm living in Rotterdam. I'm originally between Utrecht and Amsterdam. Think of him. My art is mostly installations and sculptures and uh, wall sculptures. It's a lot about the landscape and how it is influenced by human beings. Yeah, so when I'm in my studio or when I want to make art, there's a lot of preparation involved, organizing the stuff to actually make make the pieces. Yeah, there's there's a lot of motivation that has to come from you. Like, there's nobody else that will tell you. You could have a coach that tells, says that you have to train, but it's only you who could actually do the job. One of the strategies to kickstart your training would be going on a trip. Because sometimes you're a little bit unmotivated to do the everyday hours. But going on a trip for a week, it will lift your fitness up, like you'll be destroyed after, lift your fitness up. It's fun, you feel like, hey, that's, this, is, this is why I'm doing this again. And uh, helps the motivation, helps the fitness, um, you get, everything dialed um, and you feel way more prepared for the for next race. So yeah, life doesn't always go as you planned and I think I had this one point where I felt very strong as an athlete, very fit. I was envisioning and doing more races a year and finding my way um, and then an accident happened. It was a wet evening, uh, Scooter was driving way too fast, breaking his front wheel, crashed into my uh, fork and I flipped over. I've been conscious the whole time, ambulance, police, everyone there. Helmet was cracked, my arm really hurt. I've been checked completely, brought home by the ambulance, like no scans or anything, but I had a concussion. I think the days after I was very aware, like my whole nervous system was very unhappy. My back hurt, like all the symptoms that you could think of. Couldn't handle any sound or looking at the screen or all the things that happen when you have a concussion. It's very hard as an entrepreneur to be quiet. I think as an entrepreneur and as an athlete, you have these goals in life, you want to recover as fast as possible. So your brain is wired in a way like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like you don't know where the next gig comes from. You don't know where the next money is coming from. If you are standing still, your business falls apart. If you're standing still as an athlete, your fitness goes down. So I think I've always been chasing, like I've been chasing dreams or I've been chasing a certain vision of what I would like to be. But then you don't recover as fast or <laughs> do not recover at all to what you are used to. And you learn a lot of things on the way. You learn how everything in your body is related to each other, from your big toe to your eyelashes. I'm Quinda.
get there.